Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome to today's Pick A Card reading and it is Spirit Guide Messages. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to anyone new, welcome back to anyone returning. My name is Kat. I hope you enjoy the reading today. It is just a quick snapshot reading, a few minutes per group. We've got group one, group two, group three. Spirit Guide Messages is essentially um, a bit of advice from Spirit Guides for your following week if you're here regularly. Or you can assign different questions to or different topics to each group or you may be wanting some advice on a specific situation. Any of those things is absolutely fine. It's basically advisory. It's like, this is what's going on. Maybe you could try this. Maybe you could think about it that way, etc. Okay, and I will be using my little kawaii deck just to get some clarification, all right? So, one, two, three, spirit guide messages. Here we go. Hi, group one, how are you doing? So this is spirit guide messages for you. We have... The Two of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Emperor, and the Eight of uh, the Eight of Swords. Okay, so it's about making choices um, and moving forwards. We've got. Ten of Swords, Ace of Cups here. There's a lot going on here. A lot of different energies. I feel like you're trying to make a choice. Two of Coins is like juggling lots of things and trying to work out what you're going to do. Um, soul Searching will move you forwards. With the Hermit and the Eight of Wands. Soul Searching, spending time alone will move you forwards. Ten of Swords is actually not bad here. I thought it might be, but it's not. It's saying the worst is behind you now. Like, this is the new dawn on the horizon. You've got new love here, or a new emotional situation. Okay, what they're saying with the Emperor and the Eight of Swords is, is take charge of your emotions. Don't let your emotions run rampant. Don't let your emotions make the choices. Because what they're saying is that a lot of your fears and emotions are ir irrational or they're not well-founded. The emperor is very non-emotional and makes decisions and makes plans and moves forwards from a sort of rational and logical point of view. So in terms of making choices, it's like do your soul searching, listen to your heart and soul and move forwards from there. The worst is behind you and something new is on the way. But you've got to keep your emotions in check. That's kind of how it looks to me. All right. So let's get a little bit of confirmation and see what else they have to say or how we can clarify this. We've got the Ten of Swords. Yeah, the worst is behind you. You know, you felt terrible recently or over this or whatever. But the worst is behind you now. Yeah, Eight of Coins. So it's time to work on yourself. It's time to put t energy and time into your craft or your passion or your job or whatever it is that you're trying to improve. Spending time alone with the Hermit and the Eight of Coins seems to be the best idea. This is going to help you to develop. And then we've got Five of Wands. There's definitely some conflict here. Yeah, it's definitely not all smoothed out. There's definitely something going on here that needs to be resolved. But they're saying time alone and meditation, spending time with yourself, perfecting your craft, all this will help. Yeah, Seven of Cups, there's something you've got to choose. Choose wisely. Be careful with what you choose. Um, yeah, the sun is in reverse here. Do you know what? It's just like the sun is not, and sun in reverse is not bad. The sun is still the sun, whichever way up it is, right? What it's telling me is, though, there's a little bit of like a piece missing to the puzzle you haven't kind of worked it all out yet or it's not quite resolved yet so it's like you need to kind of allow that to take root in you but i think time alone and spending time quietly and letting yourself recover from this loss whatever it was is the key uh, but the worst is behind you now and i do see you moving forwards really well really soon so I hope this makes sense. Loads of love, guys. I'll see you on the next reading. Bye for now. Hi, group two. How are you doing? So this is spirit guide messages for you. We've got the nine of wands. 
the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Queen of Discs, the Ace of Swords, Princess of Swords, and the Moon in Reverse. Okay, so with the Moon in Reverse, I actually like this for you because uh, particularly when I see these other things, I feel like you're getting rid of fear. You know, you Queen of Wands, you're manifesting, you're following your creative urges. Four of Wands, you're creating prosperity, balance. Queen of Coins is abundance. Ace of Swords is the truth. You're making a new start. You're cutting ties with the past. Um, with the Knight of Swords after the Nine of Wands, I feel like whatever this is about, or if it's your week in general, it's like... You've been through some struggle recently and there's this feeling that you're a bit worn down by this topic, this situation or last week. But what I see is Knight of Swords, you taking action, thinking clearly, moving forwards. And I see you moving in a really, really good direction. You know, you're starting something which could pay off in the long run and you're sort of facing fear head on and you're not letting it control you. Um, and you're keeping going and, and that's what you do need to do. You do need to keep going. Don't sort of stop the momentum and don't let your fears kind of get the better of you. Um, but I can see that you're not doing it and that's the key. That's the key really. And I see you heading towards great success, aha, realization, truth, etc. Queen of Cups, yeah, it could be to do with love. It could be you um, being ready for love or uh, feeling connected on a love level you may also get intuitive signs okay king of pentacles queen of pentacles it could be that you're going to find your person or that you're going to move to the next level with your person yeah eight of wands i see you moving forwards in this topic or this area or during this week if you're looking at this like weekly reading so this is good for you two of, co two of wands is you're making plans now you're making plans for the longer term i feel yeah, Ten of Cups, happy ever after. I do think you're moving in the direction of happily ever after, and that's really great. So um, just keep going. You've started to take action. Keep going. Face your fears head on. Um, and I've just realized I did Oh, no, I thought you had the Eight of Wands in here, but that must have been the previous group. But you have got the Four of Wands and the Eight of Wands here. I do see you moving forward with great passion towards new things, becoming unblocked. Uh, ace of swords cutting away the past new beginnings towards ten of cups happily ever after it could very very well be a relationship situation or a relationship you've got on your mind and i think just face your fear and you'll get there hope this makes sense loads of love guys see you on the next reading bye for now hi group three how you doing so we've got Death and Rebirth, Nine of Cups, The Fool, Page of Swords, Two of Cups, Eight of Coins, Seven of Coins, and Nine of Wands. Right, so what I see with this week or your situation is something has ended and something new is beginning. There's a real focus on happiness, freedom. We've got The Fool and The Nine of Cups. Freedom, being able to kind of... Take a leap of faith into something new. Page of Swords, following your ideas, following your inspirations. Setting yourself free. That's the key. It's like, let go of this old, set yourself free. It could be towards a new relationship, two of cups. It's definitely about better relationships. It's definitely about working on yourself and really thinking about with the eight of coins and the seven of coins, where do you want to put your energy? Where do you want to put your effort? What is worth investing your time and energy into and what isn't? Nine of Wands is saying, you know what? Keep going. You're closer than you realize to this breakthrough, to this new beginning. You're really on the cusp of it. So just keep moving in that direction. Don't give up. That's the key. You, you really are very, very close to this jumping off point because you've said goodbye to something that's been holding you back. You've let go of a mindset, a person, a situation and and it's allowing for this rebirth and now this new person or situation is going to come in and you're going to get this happiness and this freedom interesting queen of cups the previous group got queen of cups as well so yeah this is probably romantic or emotional at least because you've got the two of cups here this opening up this being available and ready yeah the hermit that's interesting because this is about really listening to your inner self soul searching 
I feel this is the case, right? You've been through some sort of loss. Now you're coming out the other side. It's like you really soul search. They're saying you need to soul search. Listen to your heart and soul about what you really want and really take that leap of faith towards that. Queen of Swords. So listen, it's saying, listen to your heart, listen to your mind. So like engage on all levels and take time with the hermit. Take time alone to work out what it is you really do want to do. The Hierophant, yeah. So this is about moving towards what you really want, what's really right for you. Committing to the path in the long term. Really thinking about what's the highest path for you. Um, don't make any radical snap decisions in the minute. Don't make any radical changes because you're on the right track. Six of Cups, this is about childhood. It's about nostalgia. It can be about um, a long-term, uh, sorry, a soulmate connection as well. Um, but I feel like it's like innocence is returning. Truth is returning. Your true heart and soul is coming back to you. You know, it's like you're... You're going full circle, but you're kind of going to a new level at the same time as well. So I feel like this is a good situation for you. It's like whatever has ended has been really good for you. And it's like time to move on to the new. This is a new phase for you where things can actually move forward positively. Hope this makes sense. Those of love, guys. I'll see you on the next reading. Bye for now.